M. Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog. Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. Please welcome season 12 uh, finalist, uh, American Idol, uh, with a brand new single out. We're going to talk to Jada Vance today. Woo-hoo. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. All Thanks right, so, for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Now, here's the thing. You're welcome here for a couple of reasons. Obviously, you have, <laughs> you have a great new song that we want mm-hmm. to talk about. Right. Um, but also, more importantly, and we'll get to some of the more the finer points of this, you're mm-hmm. actually about to go speak over at our local high school. Right, right? exactly, yeah. Now, now you do so much, I mean, you do things like with veterans, uh, MRSA awareness mm-hmm. and all this, and drug awareness. What is the the program at the high school? What is that about? Um, actually, I have been um, touring, um, while I've been touring, um, uh, schools around the areas that I've been in, mm-hmm. um, just speaking on education and how literature is so important, no matter what career path that you choose. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just like me, I, I use it in my everyday career, um, for songwriting. Yeah. And so I think it's important to encourage kids that education is still, um, it's still important to continue that. And, um, no matter what, no matter what you're doing. Absolutely. If you're going to go to medical school and be a doctor, you need to read Frankenstein. (laughs) It's It's so important. It really is. So... (laughs) Um, so, so is that what you're going to talk to the kids today about school? Just saying, hey, appreciate being here now and, and learning? And Yeah, I mean that. And then I think it's really cool because um, I actually got to send over um, There's Always Me, um, another one of my single. Um, and I got to send over the charting and all that good stuff. So I guess we're going to go into their recording studio oh, and yes. record it while we're there. Yeah, so I'm so one. excited about that. <laughs> oh, no, that's, no, that's really, really, really cool. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk. Since you mentioned the music, let's talk about music. There's yeah. Always Me was earlier this year. Yes. Uh, before that, you had Hick and Roll. And now um, it's Rear View Revival, which yeah. is like a groovy little kind of bluesy song. So what is yeah. this about, uh, the song? Just uh, is, is the title... Pretty much the summation of it. Rear View yeah. Revival, we're, we're looking at Hindsight 2020, or what's that about? Yeah, um, it is, honestly. Um, but it's also kind of going deeper into that. I feel like um, we really wrote the song about overcoming and becoming who you are and who you're meant to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and which is really the gist of the entire album, and every song kind of like ties into that. But mm-hmm. it's so different. Um, every There's nothing that's the same on there, um, which is kind of cool. Um, and so uh, Rear View, it's just talking about moving on from those things in the past where they be bad or you know good situations or something that has affected you Mm -hmm. in some sort of way and taking it and moving forward um from that and so yeah short sweet right rear view revival Mm -hmm. and it's just about looking back and just finding like you know the the will to go forward yeah use it to move forward forward. Mm -hmm. yeah it's like we call that thrust again (laughs) that's science all right, and literature, obviously in education, so we're bringing this full circle. Yeah, all right. bring it all around. <laughs> let's, talk a little bit, let's talk a little bit about uh, your background for, uh, and obviously being on American Idol, you probably have hundreds of thousands of fans, people who remember that season 12. You were only 16. <laughs> Five years later, here you are, you're, you're still making music, you're still touring, you're still yeah. working. Um, what lessons did American Idol give you that you were still implying to your career today? Um, so actually, um, I didn't know... It really taught me a lot about what I didn't know more really? than what I did know. And so I was like, all right, I guess I need to like go to school or something to like learn about this. So I did. I went to school and furthered my education mm-hmm. in music business. And um, seeing the other contestants and the judges work as hard as they were working mm-hmm. really influenced me. Because then I, at that point in time, I realized, okay, I'm doing this for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. And if I want to make this work and I want to make this happen, I have to put blood, sweat, and good old tears right in there. Absolutely. Yep. All right. So originally from Madison, Tennessee. Yep. uh, You grew up more or less between Tennessee and West Virginia. Isn't that correct? You have a large part of your family in West Virginia. Southern Virginia. Now, the love of music, did that come from uh, your mother's side, like your grandfather? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about him and that. Yeah. So um, I didn't, uh, my dad was kind of in and out of prison um, a lot of my childhood Mm -hmm. um, until, you know, after Idol, actually. Um, and so my grandfather, he took the responsibility of taking care of me. You know, my mom worked third shift and mm-hmm. my granny did too. So he learned how to braid and do my hair and all that good stuff. And I remember- Good on you, granddad. I know, right? <laughs> it's not like, I, honestly, I was never allowed to touch his guitar. So I was like, every time he would like get up because it was his baby, mm-hmm. I would always like sit in the floor and watch him do it. And then whenever he would get up and walk away, I'd be like, all right, the coast is clear. And then I'd like mm-hmm. go over and I'd like try to like do the same thing as him and uh, things like that. So yeah, he's a huge influence in my musical career. 
All right, well, you managed to take a childhood of uh, struggle and adversity mm -hmm. and channel it into a very, very positive direction. Yeah. You're obviously a very positive person. Uh, the music is great uh, if you want to hear. Rear View Revival, her current single. Make sure you call us at Kicks I6. We are happy to play it for you. <laughs> and we're going to look for a live performance from Jada Vance uh, elsewhere here on our YouTube channel. Jada, thanks for coming down. Thank you so much, Fletch. All right, tell your granddad <laughs> we said hi and that we appreciate you know, his influence and in bringing that Thank music Thank you so out. much. All right, and we'll see you next time on another artist video blog at kicks96country.com.